Lastly, the small engine is one of the kindest little engines you could ever meet on the island of Soto. He has friends all over the railway and is always happy to say hello to them. He's friends with small engines like Thomas and Toby, big engines like Henry and Murdoch. Hello! Hello, Percy. Hello, Percy. He's even friends with diesel engines. Oh, hello, Percy. He'll even say hello to diesel. <laughs> hello, diesel. Ooh. Hello, Percy. Percy is proud to have made friends with everyone he has met. He's never too afraid to make an effort and will always do his best to make a good impression. One early morning, Percy was puffing towards Naffa Station after doing his night run with the post train. He could see the fat controller on the platform. He was looking at his watch. Oh dear! I must be late! Morning, sir! Sorry I'm late! I didn't mean to keep you waiting! Late? Oh, nonsense, Percy! You're right on time and really reliable! Oh, thank you, sir! <sighs> but I do have a problem. What sort of problem, sir? Well, I've got a goods train coming in all the way from Germany. Frieda is bringing the train in, but I don't have any spare engines to meet her. Uh, who's Frieda? Don't you remember, Percy? She took part in the Great Railway Show. Percy thought back to this day. Then he remembered. He had been cheering Henry on whilst he was taking part in the strongest engine competition. Frieda was one of the engines he had been competing against. Oh, now I remember, sir! Why do you need an engine to go and meet her? Frida won't know the way to Knapford Station, and I need someone to help show her the way. I can do that, sir. I can go and help Frida. Are you sure, Percy? Frida is a very big engine, and I've heard she can be a bit grumpy at times. Don't worry, sir. I will help Frida as much as I can. I promise I won't let you down. Hmm. Very well then, leave your trucks at the siding and go to Vickerstown Station to meet Frieda, please. Yes, sir! Right away, sir! Percy shunted his trucks into the siding, then set off for Vickerstown. Meanwhile, at Vickerstown Bridge, Frieda was waiting for the ship to go past. Frida didn't like all this waiting. This was making her feel a bit impatient. Oh, I do not like to be kept waiting like this. I have a very important train to deliver. Cheer up, Frida. We are nearly there. And we'll be meeting one of the fat controller's engines at the first station. Frida was happy to hear this. She hoped the engine would be big to help her. At last the bridge was lowered and the signal went green. As she stared across the bridge, Caitlin raced by. Oh! Slow down, you maniac! Hmm. Percy was making his way to Vickerstown Station. He was feeling very excited to meet Frida. He hoped she would be a friendly engine. I'll be on my very best behaviour! Frida will be pleased to have my help! After a long run, Percy arrived at the station. He could see that there was no sign of Frida yet. But he could see Caitlin on the other platform. She felt very insulted. Hello, Caitlin! What's the matter? Oh, some big blue engine called me a maniac because I sped past the Vickstown Bridge! She was so rude. If that's her, then I don't want to speak to her. It's Frida! She's arrived! Frida? That was the engine who passed you earlier! Oh, I wonder who that was. 
Frida stopped in the station to rest her wheels. The driver went to the station master's office to find a telephone. Lucy puffed up to the big steam-lined engine. Hello, you must be Frida. I'm Percy. Welcome to Sodor. What? Oh, well, I... The fat controller sent me to meet you here. I'm to help show you the way to Knapford Station. You? You are the engine I'm meeting here? Frida was very surprised by what she had heard. She was hoping for a much bigger engine to meet her. She didn't expect a small engine to come see her. Ah, <sighs> hello, Percy. I'll just find a turntable and then we'll go to Knapford. Percy set off to find a water tower. Frida watched him puff away. She felt very cross about this. How unfortunate. Me being shown the way by a small engine. Surely things can't get any worse. At last. Bye bye, Frida. You can rest assured that I will be seeing past you again. Hmm. Soon, Frida's driver returned from the station master's office. The station yard is clear for us to enter. The fat controller will be meeting us there. Yes, sir, but I still cannot believe that he sent a little engine to meet us. It's still better than no engine at all. I'm sure our escort will be a big help to us. But Frida wasn't so sure. She thought maybe Percy might be too small to work with for someone as big as her. Percy raced back alongside Frida. He was pleased to see her again. I'm back, Frida! Are you ready to go? Hello again, Percy. I'm ready to go. Right then! Follow me, please! Frida set off with a goods train after Percy, still feeling quite cross about what was happening. As they puffed along the line, Frida kept very quiet. She didn't say a word to Percy. Percy was puzzled by this. He decided to try and talk to her. You must have had a long journey, Frida. You must have seen lots of stations and met many different engines on your travels. Yes, I have. But I don't see how it has anything to do with you. I was only asking, Frida. I wouldn't mind listening to your adventures, or maybe I could tell you some of mine. No, thank you, Percy. I just want to get this train to the station and then have a rest. This made Percy feel quite upset. He didn't expect anything like this at all. He hoped Frida would be a kind, cheerful engine. But then he remembered what the Fat Controller had said. Frida is a very big engine, and I've heard she can be a bit grumpy at times. Percy wanted to get along with Frida, but he wasn't sure how. Then he saw some children playing in a field close to the line. This gave Percy an idea. Look, Frida! There's some children! Look! There's Percy! The children ran towards the fence to see Percy. They wondered who the new engine was. Hello! This is Frida! She's from Germany! The children were very impressed when they looked at Frida. She's big! Come on, she's huge! She looks ever so strong! The children cheered and clapped for Frida. Hooray for Frida! Frida was very surprised, but hearing the children cheer made her smile, and it made her blush too. Oh, thank you. How very kind of you. Come on, Frida. We can't stay here all day. We've got a train to deliver. It was nice to meet you. I have to get going now. I have a train to deliver. Bye bye! Goodbye! Goodbye! Sodor is a very friendly place. I'm sure everyone else will be very happy to see you. But Frida wasn't so sure about this. At last they arrived at the shunting yards outside Nafford Station. Percy showed Frida the shunting yards. Here we are, Frida! Napford Station! Isn't it a big station? Well, I guess it is. But I've seen other big stations too. 
The Fox Controller will be very pleased to see you. Oh, there he is now! Huh? Sure enough, the Fat Controller was waiting for the two engines. The two engines stopped right in front of him. Ah, Percy! I see you managed to help Frida get to the station! Well done! Thank you, sir! Frida, this is the head of the railway. His name is Sir Topham Hat. Hello, Frida. As controller of the railway, let me be the first to say welcome to my railway. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm pleased to meet you, too. And I'm very impressed with the long journey you've had. You've had to work very hard delivering all these trucks from your railway in Germany. Your efforts and your hard work in making this journey, I think, makes you a really useful engine. Oh, thank you, sir. That's very kind of you. Now, Frida, I think you deserve a long rest after your long journey. I can take you to Tidmouth Church, Frida. Then you can have a long rest in one of the engine burps. What a splendid idea, Percy! Come on then, Frida! I'll take you there! Isn't Percy a kind and helpful engine? Yes, I guess he is. Percy took Frida through Knapford shunting yards. He had to stop and take on water and coal. They stopped by the water tower and the driver put the hose into Percy's tank. You can refill on coal and water here, Frida. Then I'll take you to the sheds for a rest. Thank you, Percy. Hello, Percy. Hello, Emily. This is Frida. She's brought in a train from Germany. Hello, Frida. I remember you from the Great Railway Show. Hello, Emily. I remember seeing you too. You were painted in those special decorations. Uh, that's right. It was a fun day there. Just then, the yard manager rushed over to see Percy. Ah, Percy. There you are. I need you to take those empty trucks to Brendam Docks. They are needed for the cargo that's being unloaded from the ships. But I'm supposed to take Frida to Tidmouth Sheds for a rest! I can take Frida there, Percy. I'll look after her. That would be marvellous. Oh, Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Goodbye, Frida. I'll come and see you after I finish my job. Percy whistled goodbye and then went to collect his trucks. Frida groaned at this. What is with that Percy? Surely he knows he has other things to do apart from talk to me. He's only thinking of you, Frida. He's a very caring engine, and I'm proud to call him my friend. You'll understand him the more you get to know him. But Frida decided she had had enough of Percy. She just wanted to get to the shed as fast as she could. Then she wouldn't have to see Percy again for the rest of the day. Percy was making his way to the docks with empty trucks. He was feeling very sad. He couldn't understand why Frida was so grumpy. I don't think Frida likes me. She doesn't seem to want to be my friend. Oh, I guess making friends with her is going to be harder than I thought. When Percy reached the docks, he could see the cargo waiting to be loaded into the trucks. Hero and Porter were there. Hero was waiting to leave with his train of flatbeds and trucks. Porter was shunting some trucks into place for Billy to collect later on. They saw Percy and was pleased to see him. Oh, Hello, Hero. Hello, Porter. Oh dear, Percy. What's the matter? Why the long face? Well, it's Frida. She's come all the way from Germany to deliver a goods train from her railway to this railway. But she doesn't seem very happy to see me. Percy told the two engines about his trip to Natford with Frida and about how grumpy she was because he was working with her. I thought Frida would be very happy to see me, but I was wrong. It seems she wasn't interested in working with me, nor does it feel like she wants to be my friend. Don't let that get to you too much, Percy. Maybe Frida doesn't understand you well enough. You cannot make friends with someone just like that. Hero's right, Percy. 
It takes time to make a new friend, but sometimes even the grumpiest of engines have a heart somewhere. Well, I'm sure they do. But how can I show Frida that I'm not a bad engine? Just show her that by being yourself. That's the best way of making a new friend. It doesn't matter if the engine is big or small, Percy. You can be friends with someone no matter what size or shape they are. Every engine is different. Like Porter and me, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Hero. Percy thought for a moment. Then he had an idea. Maybe if I talk to Frida about how special I am to the Fat Controller by telling her what jobs I do, maybe then she might take a liking to me. That's a good idea, Percy. We all know you have important jobs to do. Just remember to be yourself, Percy. That's the most important thing you can do when making a new friend. I'll remember. I'd better get back to the yards and see if Frida is okay. Bye, Hero! Bye, Porter! And thank you! Percy puffed away out of the docks. As he made his way along the line to the yards, he kept thinking about what the Hero the Porter had said to him. Hero is right! Rita may be a big engine, but that doesn't mean I can't be her friend. And Porter is right too! It takes time to make a new friend! I just hope I can show Frida that I'm a really useful engine! Percy joined the main line that went back to the yards. He was so busy thinking about what to say to Frida, when suddenly... Out of the way, you silly little engine! Express me coming through! Slow down, Jordan! You're going too far! Nonsense, Percy! The Express never slows down for any engine! I surpass this! Wait, wait, please, man! Ooh! Ouch! Gordon suddenly slowed right down, and then he came to a sudden stop. What was that? Percy stopped beside Gordon to see what was wrong. Gordon's driver and fireman checked him all over. The trouble didn't take long to find. Your fire bars have collapsed, and that's caused your fire to fall out. You can't go any further. Oh no! I'm stuck! Now the passengers will be late getting to the station! What am I going to do now? Then Percy had an idea. I'll go and get help, Gordon! I won't be long! Wait right here, please, and I'll be right back! Wait right here? That's all I can do! Percy raced back to Tim Sheds as fast as he could. He had a plan to help Gordon. But he needed to find Frida first. At Tim Sheds. Frida and Emily were enjoying their rest in the sheds. Emily was spending time with Frida before her next train was due. It's very busy here on Sodor. There are trains running here, there and everywhere. We're all doing our best to keep the railway running on time. I guess the Fats Controller has some of the best engines to help him out. Oh, he does. He has big engines and little engines too. Sometimes I work with the big engines like Henry and James. Other times I can work with little engines like Thomas and Percy. But I must say, it was very kind of Percy to come and meet you at Vickerstown Station. Ugh, what is so important about Percy? He's just a little engine. He may be a little engine, but he's one of the kindest and most helpful engines I've ever known. You can be friends with him too if you just give him a chance. Frida! Frida! Oh, what does that little engine want now? Percy raced onto the turntable and found Frida in the shed next to Emily. Frida! Thank goodness I found you! What do you want, Percy? Can't you see I'm resting? What's happened, Percy? 
There's an emergency! I need your help with a rescue! A rescue? It's Gordon! He's broken down on the main line! His fireball's collapsed! And now he's stranded! I need you to help me get Gordon and the Express to the next station, Frida! Otherwise, the passengers will be stranded! Frida was surprised. She had never brought passengers before. This made her feel worried. But I'm a goods engine, Percy. I don't know anything about pulling passengers. Plus, I do not know the line. I can show you the way to the station, then the fat controller can get another engine to take Gordon's place. You're the only engine who can help, Frida. I don't know, Percy. Please, Frida. Gordon needs you. The passengers need you. I need you. I can't rescue Gordon on my own. I need your help. Because you're bigger, stronger, and faster than me. And I need you to help me rescue Gordon. Frida couldn't believe what she had heard. Percy called her a big, strong, fast engine. This made her feel proud. Then she looked at Percy and saw that he really needed her help. Frida was a bit worried about coming to help a passenger train. So she made a decision. Very well, Percy. Let's go and rescue Gordon. Show me the way, please. Yes, Frida. Follow me, please. <whistles> Gordon was feeling very sad. He was standing all alone on the line and was feeling very silly. Oh, the indignity. Serves you right, Gordon. You should know by now that you can get yourself into trouble no matter how fast you go. Always remember to watch your speed. Oh. Hello, Gordon. I'm back. What? But I thought you were going to get help. You can't rescue me on the express! I know I can't, but I know someone who can! Frida, this is Gordon, the big express engine! Oh, you're the extremelined engine who came last into great race. Oh, you show-offs never learn a thing. Gordon watched as Frida went to change the lines. He was feeling more and more sorry for himself. He wished he hadn't broken his fire bars now. Frida backed down onto the express and was coupled up in front of Gordon. Everything was ready and Frida was all set to go. Okay, Percy. I'm ready when you are. Right then, let's go! To the station! Frida heaved, she huffed and puffed, then at last, Cavalcade began to move. <laughs> Who and your coaches put together are certainly a heavy train. Huh? But I've put heavier loads than this before. This is a piece of cake. Percy led the way, and Frida followed on behind as they made their way to the next station. Percy whistled as they went past junctions and signal boxes. The other engines who had to wait were very surprised when they saw what was happening. I'm seeing double. Two gardens. Frida heard this but took no notice. And the girl Frida showed him what was made of. At last, Kelsforp Station came into view. Everyone on the platform watched as they saw Percy and Frida coming in with a broken down Gordon and the Express. There it is! We've made it! Make way, please. Frida and the Express are coming in. The two engines puffed into the station, feeling very pleased with themselves. The train stopped in the station and Frida gave a big sigh of relief. The passengers burst out of the train and everyone clapped and cheered for her. The engines who were nearby were very impressed by what they saw. Just then, the Fat Controller arrived and came to see Frida. Well now, what can I say about this? 
Oh, I'm very amazed by what you have done, Frida. You have saved me a job of sending another engine to help out. You should be proud of yourself. You are indeed a really useful engine. Well done, Frida! You're a hero! Frida's cheeks went a bright red. Oh, thank you, sir. But I had some help from a very kind and very helpful engine. Thank you, Percy. You really are a special engine. Oh, thank you, Frida! I think the two of you make a great team. We should do, do so. That night, Frida stayed at Timple's sheds with the other engines. She and Percy were the only engines awake, but the two of them were very proud of themselves. Thank you for coming to rescue Gordon. You were wonderful, Frida. That's all right, Percy. And thank you too for helping me out. That's all right, Frida. But I'll be sad to see you go tomorrow. I wish you could stay on Sodor. You'd be a great addition to the railway. I know, Percy. But my controller wouldn't really like it if I didn't go home. He would wonder where I am. <sighs> I'd better get to my sleep. I have a long trip home tomorrow. Good night, Percy. Good night, Frida. <sighs> the two engines went to sleep, but Percy was feeling a bit sad about Frida going home. The next morning, Percy woke up as his crew lit his fire. Then Percy looked to his right and gasped in shock. <gasps> Frida? Where's Frida? Uh, what? Where's who? Oh no! Frida must be on her way back to the mainland! I must catch her before it's too late! Percy, where are you going? Percy popped into Netford Station. He saw there was no sign of Frida there. Frida? Where are you? Percy suddenly realised that if she was going back to the mainland, then she would have to pass Vickerstown Station to get to the bridge. I have to get to Vickerstown Bridge before Frida does! I don't want to miss her! Percy! Whatever are you doing? Frida! Frida! Percy puffed through Vickerstown Station and saw Frida wasn't there either. He then made his way to the bridge, but when he got there, he saw the bridge was tilted upwards. Percy had to stop. Oh no! I'm too late! I've missed Frida! Percy decided to go back to the station. He felt very sad as he puffed back. He reversed into the station, feeling very miserable. He was sure he had missed Frida. Now he felt very sad that he didn't get to see her gone. Goodbye, Frida! Hello, Percy! What are you doing all the way out here? Frida! You're still here! I'm so glad to see you! Frida noticed Percy was a little sad. Why so glum, Percy? I thought... I thought you already left. I raced all the way here so I could see you go. I was very worried. You didn't think I would leave without saying goodbye, did you? Well, I was quite frightened. You weren't at the sheds when I woke up. Oh, I'm sorry, Percy. I didn't mean to frighten you. I left the shed early so I could take on coal and water before I left. Then I went to see the flat controller to tell him thank you for letting me stay on this railway for a day. Then I came looking for you, but I had no idea you would be this far. So, all my rushing around was for nothing? I guess so, Percy. <laughs> <laughs> the two engines chuckled. Then Percy had a thought. Frida... I'm sorry I made you cross yesterday. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to help you. 
Actually, Percy, I should be the one apologizing. I'm sorry for being so grumpy with you. I've never worked with a little engine before, but yesterday you showed me just how special you really are. And more importantly, you don't know special little friend I've ever made. Percy's eyes were wide with wonder. This made him feel very happy. Oh, Frida, thank you. You're one of the strongest and most useful engines I have ever felt proud to work with. Come on, Frida, it's time to go. Our controller will be waiting. Yes, sir. I'm afraid it's time for me to leave, Percy. Can my friends in Germany are waiting for me. Very well then, Frida. Thank you for your visit. I'll miss you. And I will miss you too, Percy. Maybe one day I could come and visit you and see how wonderful your railway is. That would be wonderful. You will always be a good and special little friend to me wherever I go. Goodbye, Frida! I'll never forget you! Goodbye, Percy! I'll never forget you either! Percy watched as Frida popped into the distance. He was sad to see her go, but was happy that she could be home with her friends soon. As Frida puffed across Bickerstown Bridge, she thought about Percy and smiled. What a kind and sweet little engine he really is. Then she saw Caitlin. Caitlin was a place to see her. Hello there. Uh, I'm sorry I called you a maniac. I'm sorry for telling you to slow down. But please, keep up the good work. After the session where she saw Percy still at the platform. Hello Percy, what are you doing here? Hello Caitlin! I came to say goodbye to Frida. I learnt an important lesson yesterday about making a new friend. Oh, what's that? That even the grumpiest of engines do have a heart in them. Somewhere. <laughs> Well, whatever you did to make Frida smile and be friendly, Percy, it must have worked. I think somewhere in Frida, you have made a very special friend in her. Percy smiled at Caitlin. He felt like the happiest engine in all of the island. Even though he and Frida would be a long way apart from each other, he knew that their friendship would always be there with them for a very long time.